Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. It's getting on for mid-November now, but I'm still planting, so this is November planting. <laughs> so first up is, um, I've got some lettuce here, and this variety is called um, Amaze. I've just lightly dug the soil over, I'm just going to put some blood fish and bone in. I'll just mix it up a little bit, just to give them a little bit of food. I mean, this my soil is plenty rich anyway, but... I can't seem to put anything in the ground without me <laughs> without me um, putting blood fish and bone in. Love it. So this these should last about three months picking from the base of the plants as I do. It'll keep the keep the plant coming, keep the plants tidy as well at the same time as uh, encouraging them to keep growing. And they should last, oh, I don't know, 12 to 14 weeks, I think. It depends, you know, it, de it depends on the seasons, really. Um, I have got a bit of a mould issue in the polytunnel at the minute, some sort of a botrytis. Just hopefully these don't spread. And also, these have been in these plug cells now for, well, a little bit longer than I would like normally so there's a chance small chance though a small chance that they might bolt but hopefully not so I'll give those a little water in and I'll plant those somewhere else there's quite a bit of planting to be done today so um, I'll find a space for those anyway maybe over there we'll see but yeah we'll carry on go and plant some more stuff so just having a look at what plants I have got here uh, these are on my hanging shelf and I've got sweet peas there I'm not going to be planting them today um, there's some rocket there and some little bit of chard there's all kinds of bits and bobs I mean there's little couple of little lettuce plants there I might put in and um, I think there are mustards in there yeah they're mustards red giants scooting along I've got all kinds of plants at different stages some more chard there these are had it, these are winter spinach, Komatsuna, tender greens, must, you know, Japanese mustards, their flowers for next year. I've got some more rockets in here and some more lettuces, some mustard red giants and I've got a, just behind me there's a tray of um, mustard ready to go in as well, the, um, the Komatsuna. So there's plenty to go at and what's left of those lettuce as well. So I'm going to go and plant those, start planting in the little tunnel. <laughs> so you've watched the video this far through so far. Obviously you're enjoying it. So to enjoy further content, hit that big red button down there to subscribe and hit the bell, select notifications all, and then you won't miss any of my future content. It doesn't bite. I don't bite. This is gardening. I'm Steve. This is Greenside. Or what more do you need to know? <laughs> <laughs> so just subscribe and I'll be made up thanks very much on with the video <laughs> so I cleared all these benches off yesterday after um, I now finished doing that no dig raised bed outside for now anyway um, so I cleared all of the detritus off and bits of scrap wood and nails and rubbish off and uh, propped the benches up out the way and I've dug this soil over and I've just left it yesterday with sprinkled with some uh, blood fish and bone which I'm now going to get into the soil and then I'm going to start planting this whole bed hopefully if I've got enough plants so <laughs> we'll crack on with that. So it just wants uh, getting into the top couple of inches of soil really because watering and any soil activity and that will um, and the hoeing and whatnot will knock it down through the layers. So I'm just getting it into the top layers before planting. And that's it really, and I'm just just, just using my claw. And this this is a, I mean what a tool. <laughs> but it's an old antique thing, um, five prong cultivators. I mean you can buy the three three prong ones just to get the middle three. But these are so much better, cover such a bigger area. 
and I love it as I say what a tool <laughs> anyway that's that done we'll get plans in so board to work from and I think I'll go for these first these are my Chinese cabbage Yep, I've got a lot of these in this year, it's the same because normally they don't do very well at all for me but they appear to have been proving me wrong this year as I've recorded it on video and told people they don't do well for me they appear to be doing well for me so I've got tons of them doesn't matter, if I've got too many I can always give them away Or just eat more cabbage. So I'm going to plant the first couple quite close. The first six I'll plant quite close and then I'll go to a decent space since after that. I just like to experiment and play around with these things to see if I can get plants smaller smaller hearts and we all kind of know that the smaller a veg is in general it can be a bit more sweeter but we'll see so I've only got three left anyway now I'll well, see. Soil's that good in here, I don't even really need to use a trowel. This variety of Chinese cabbage is called Wong Bok, I think. Yeah, Wong Bok. Now these are mustards, red giants and I'm only putting six of these in this bed is nearly full now I've got some of this again in the other tunnel And planting these here will leave me with, I think, two or three other plants to, to use as hole fillers. You know, as you lose plants or as you harvest plants, just chuck another one in. It'll either grow or it won't. And it's good to try. Don't give up, just keep trying, just keep putting plants in. I don't know if I said already, but this is mustard, red giant, another one of the Japanese mustards. <laughs> so there we go, that's them done. Right, this space really is enough room for two child plants, possibly one. So what am I doing? I'm planting six. <laughs> The idea being, I know that not all these will survive. I want my chard to grow big. I know a lot of people like them smaller and it does contradict what I said earlier about the lettuces and I like them small. But with the chard, I like them bigger because the stems are as much a part of the veg as the leaf is and I like to cook, cut out the stems from the leaf, cook the stems for a couple of minutes, stir fry them mostly and then just chuck the leaves in like a, at the last second, it's like a, again it's like a spinach similar to the mustards. So the strongest will survive there, I might prune them back, I might take one or two out, we'll see but for the minute space is filled. 
so that's it for today that's all my november planting done now apart from little few little bits and bobs and hole fillers so please look after yourselves everyone stay safe and i'll see you tomorrow take care ta now bye bye <laughs>